Good evening. I call this board meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining us this evening. Please be advised in the event of a fire emergency, an alarm will sound. Please note all emergency exits and evacuate well away from the building. At this time, we request everybody please turn your cell phones to silent. Thank you for your cooperation. Additions, deletions, and changes to the agenda? Yes, we have one addition on the personnel. 911, appointment of music teacher. Thank you. I lost my 911. That one is it. Thank you. Consent agenda. Can I have a motion for one through eight, please? Moved. And a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Communications correspondence. Yes, you have a couple pieces in your, your board packet. Uh, we had 100% of our buses pass the inspection. You saw where the state averages. Uh, Reese and Ms. Model continue to do a great job. Other than that, you have our honor roll, where our honor roll numbers still remain very, very strong, a little bit higher than last uh, marking period at this time. The rest is the board's communications. Thank you. It's probably me first, isn't it? Yes. You do it for me, Liz? Absolutely. Students in the headlines. Our Genesee United Unified basketball season opened the season with two thrilling wins. Congratulations. I was unable to attend the one today, but there was two last week, and I watched them from home because I had a sick child. But it was really fun to watch. I encourage anyone that hasn't been to a game to get to one. Fifth grader Cosette Kincaid's poster was a winner, winner in the 2023 New York State Senate Earth Day poster contest. Her poster's theme was recycling. We have a third grade winner in the Genesee Valley Peace Poetry Contest hosted by SUNY Geneseo's English Department. Fifth grader Jax Metzger's poem was called Outside in August. All three of the Kelmom winners, Jax, James Wildey, and Caitlin Wildey, read their poems at a recognition ceremony in the college, at the college last weekend. And then the elementary school students uh, enjoyed participating in a special guest singer, songwriter, Kevin McCarthy. Uh, during his visit, he encouraged students uh, through a motivational message to follow his readers. Okay. Uh, April Savvy Readers in the high school, Brooke Van Dyne in English, Aaron Munnings in Science, Ava Siegel in Technology, Jose Pedraza in Math, uh, Maggie Jones in Spanish, Grace Van Auken in Art, Kyle Heineman in Health and PE, Hannah Harmon in Music, Tyler Pangrazio in Business, and Leilani Monegro in Social Studies. And then in the middle school, Gracie Shunk in English, James McCall in Science, Kaylin Tashner in Music, actually I think it's Callan Tashner, I'm sorry, Kylie Kuhn in Math, Tommy Palladino in Spanish, Alyssa Eilish, Eilish, thank you, in Art, Peyton Clement in Social Studies, Andrew Rubick in Health and PE, and Sophie Truer in CTE. Nice. Congratulations to everyone. And our official guests of the board are members of the top ten. Ladies and gentlemen in the top ten, if you are here, please stand for me. Bless Bless you. You. Again. I'm going to make all of them stand. There Again. we go, even the ones that were here the last time. And now, if you were here last time, I will not make you introduce yourself and go again so you can sit back down, but I certainly wanted to recognize all of you at one time. Okay, so now let's see. We're going to go uh, a little bit backwards. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first person I'm going to introduce you to is number eight this year, Miss Allie Walker. Allie, will you share with the Board of Education your plans for after high school? And will you also just talk a little bit about the multiple things that you do here in Caledonia as a Raider? Yeah, um, I'm going to SUNY Cortland to study speech language pathology, hopefully to work in private practice. Um, and. Yeah, I've done a lot of things. <laughs> right now I'm student council president and I really like being involved in the student council. I've been the treasurer of my class every other year but this year. Um, participate in band and chorus and track, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sports and stuff like that. 
Thank you, Allie. Next up is Ms. Leah Brava. She's number four this year for the class. Will you please just tell the board your plans for after high school? And again, just a little bit about all the things that you do here as a Raider. Um, so I plan to go to SUNY ASF. It's uh, the College of Environmental Science and Forestry for Environmental Sci Studies with a minor in Economics. And then I plan to go on to get my master's in Economics um, to be an environmental economist. And then at the school, I performed in plays and musicals in the band and chorus. I'm the senior class president, and uh, I'm in track as well. Thank you. Next up is number three, Aaliyah Kosher. Aaliyah, same thing, please. Um, I'm going to Damon University, and I'm enrolled in their five-year physician assistant program. I do the musical, I do the play. I'm in volleyball and track. And I'm student council vice president, and I do band and chorus. And ladies and gentlemen, last for this evening is your valedictorian, Miss Cassidy Mitchell. I I am going to uh, Clarkson University to study interdisciplinary social sciences, and I'm also going into their pre-law program. And uh, I kind of want to be a lawyer, maybe when I grow up. <laughs> um, I do. NHS, I'm the Vice President of NHS, um, I'm the Vice President of Science Club, um, I'm in a bunch of clubs like Spanish Club and you know everything like that, and, uh, and I used to do sports but I don't anymore. <laughs> that's, that's what I got. Congratulations. Okay, but all you other students aren't exactly off the hook because we do have a tradition also of, of any students especially seniors that are here usually for government class to also stand up introduce yourself you don't have to go into as much detail but we do like to hear what your future plans are so let's start with the pink shirt on the end no problem That's, That's perfect. perfect. Thank perfect. you. Make sure we don't. Yeah. My name is Stephen Olson. I'm going to uh, FLCC in psychology. I plan on like just majoring in psychology eventually, like doing probably private practice. So. I'm Elizabeth Livermore, and I plan to be a dog groomer. Cool. Good for you. Good for you. My name is Abigail Clinton. Um, I plan on skipping one year and then going back to Genesee, Genesee Community College to finish my associate's degree for social media marketing. And I'm Amber Hamburger, and I don't know what I want to do when I graduate from high school. My name is John Medina, and I'm going to be going to MCC for business. Hi, um, my name is John Talty, and I'm my, I'm, there's a possibility I can might attend IIT for technology. I'm also good at video editing and art. Thank you, John. Hi, I'm Jacob Simpson. I'm going to go to a GCC for history. I'm Caleb Weaver, and I'm going to GCC for History and Economics. Hi guys, I'm uh, Marcus Phillips. I'm in the musical this year, a senior play this year. I'm going to play on the Unified basketball team, and I'm going to college for at UB for graphic design. That's my boy. Uh, yeah, I'm Ty Douglas, and uh, I'm working on uh, finishing up my Eagle Scout project right now, and getting an Eagle Scout, and then go I'm undecided for after high school. <laughs> I'm David Tatro. Uh, I just finished my uh, first year of GCC and I'm going on for my associate's degree in supply chain management. And I'm just now finishing my Eagle Scout project, same with him. Um, and that's, I uh, plan on getting an internship at Liberty Pumps and going for my four year for my master's at RIT to finish my uh, supply chain logistics uh, management. So that's cool. I guess. Yeah. 
My name is Ian Kresge. I'm going to be going to MCC for computer science. Before you move on, I'm also part of the Calamon Charming Student Club. Oh, nice. Yes, you are, John. With Riley? All right. Uh, my name is Riley Marquitz. I was also receiving headlines for a blood drive okay. due to the fact that I was recently diagnosed with a better of I'm not going to get into it. It's not important. I am have been accepted to SUNY Alfred in their digital media and animation program and I hopefully hope to use it to one day make my own cartoons. I mean I made it so I might as well take them. <laughs> well, I'm going to interrupt just to make sure that Leilani when she stands up right now is recognized as a member of our top 10. Leilani would you stand for me please? Leilani is number six for the class of 2023. Yeah, Leilani, will you also share um, uh, what your plans are for after high school? But then will you just kind of talk a little bit about all the things that you do here, do here in Caledonia as a Raider, all the ways you represent us? Um, I plan to go to St. John Fisher in the fall. I want to study athletic performance um, and maybe open my own gym one day. That'll be further in the future. Um, as far as what I do around here, I do a lot of sports, a lot of volunteer work and community service. Um, I do most of my work in Rochester with the Salvation Army and the Food Pantry and a lot of projects for the kids. Good for you. Thank you, Alani. Congratulations, all of you. <laughs> Dr. Chanel, just refresh my memory. Are we are we still lacking one? I think we are lacking one. That's what I thought. Okay. Hopefully next meeting. <laughs> Public forum is next on the agenda. This portion of the agenda is for district residents, district staff, and or parents and guardians of students to speak to the board. However, the board members will not respond. This is a time for the board to listen, and when appropriate, a response will be provided to the speaker. Individuals who wish to speak must sign in, state their name and address prior to speaking, and limit their comments to three minutes. Comments or questions naming specific personnel or students are to be addressed privately to protect the rights of the individuals. All speakers are to conduct themselves in a civil manner. Obscene language, libelous statements, threats of violence, statements advocating racial, religious, or other forms of prejudice will not be tolerated. And we do have one person signed up to speak today, Mr. Christopher Harris. Good evening. My name is Christopher Harris, and I rise to speak tonight as a resident and a parent of a middle school student. I'm here to express my wholehearted support for the school library and the recent Book Bento program organized in the middle high school. The Book Bento program encouraged students to read and discuss Alan Gratz's powerful novel, Refugee. This moving story follows the lives of three young refugees from different eras and countries who all embarked on harrowing journeys in the search of freedom and safety. By reading this book, our students were given the opportunity to, through story, walk in the shoes of others who have faced unimaginable hardships. Under expert leadership from the faculty, the Book Bento program went beyond the pages of the book by inviting students to share food from the different cultures encountered in the book. This unique and immersive approach allowed our students to explore the richness and diversity of these cultures, fostering a deeper understanding and respect for our global community. The school library plays a vital role in our students' lives. It is not just a place for academic resources, it is a sanctuary where students can explore, learn, and grow. In our increasingly interconnected world, it is crucial for our young people to understand and appreciate different perspectives and cultures. By providing access to a diverse range of books, our library helps everyone find their story on its shelves. Books that tackle difficult situations, such as refugee, enable our students to develop empathy and understanding through shared experiences. These stories remind us that we are all connected and that the struggles faced by others are not so different from our own. As families arrive in our community from Ukraine and other parts of the world, these lessons become even more important to help students understand how small and interconnected our seemingly huge world actually is. School libraries and programs like CalMOM's Book Bento provide valuable resources and experiences that help our young people cultivate empathy, global awareness, and a lifelong love of reading. I urge the school board to continue supporting our libraries 
and our students freedom to read. It helps make our community a more inclusive, compassionate, and vibrant place. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Okay, we do not have a superintendent's report, and we do not have any old business. Under new business, item one, revision to the school calendar. Resolved that the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve the, re <coughs> approve the revision of the school calendar to include Friday, May 26, 2023, the Friday before Memorial Day, as a day of recess for the students. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second? Second. Yep. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. There you go, kids. You got another day off. <laughs> <laughs> Item two, approval of best value cooperative bidding, cooperative purchasing. Resolved that the Board of Education, upon the recommendation of the superintendent, approve best value, whereas the district's purchase of materials and services are made in accordance with the General Municipal Law, Article 5-A, whereas General Municipal Law 103-16 allows the district, as a municipal entity, to purchase certain materials and service at price determined to be best value rather than lowest bidder by the Board of Education whereas best value is defined by New York State Finance Law 163 as the basis for awarding contracts for services to the offerer which optimizes quality, cost, and efficiency among responsive and responsible offers. Such basis shall reflect whether possible, or such basis shall reflect wherever possible, objective and quantifiable factor for offers that are small businesses certified minority or women-owned businesses enterprises as defined in subdivisions 1, 7, 15, and 20 of section 310 of the executive law or service disabled veteran-owned businesses enterprises as defined, as defined in subdivision 1 of section 369 of the executive law to be used in evaluation of offers for awarding the contracts for services. Whereas the district, as a municipal entity, may purchase in accordance with General Municipal Law 10316 through bids solicited by the United States government, the New York State government, and New York's political subdivisions, including school districts, through bids let in a manner consistent with or materially equivalent to New York State requirements for bidding, or may piggyback on any contract or bid approved for piggybacking through the New York State Office of General Services. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Board of Education of the Caledonia Mumford Central School District hereby authorizes the purchase of materials and services using a best value determination as an option to the lowest responsible bidder in accordance with the General Municipal Law 10316 and in compliance with all district purchasing policies and procedures with board approval. Be it further resolved that this resolution shall take effect immediately upon adoption. Motion, please. So move. And a second? Second. Any discussion? Chris, I got one comment that if moving in this direction that the board scrubs and make sure there's no conflict of interest when you're considering these options. Okay. Anything else? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried for item three. Yeah. So in reference to item two, we would like to seek the approval of the TIPS cooperative purchasing <coughs> agreement as listed in the agenda. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make it. And a second. Second. Yep. Any discussion? All I would say is that you'll see this resolution or something similar to this at your reorganization meeting in July when we do other cooperative bidding. And we're looking to purchase our door hardware uh, that we plan to replace in the middle and high school and elementary school uh, from this cooperative bidding. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Board self-evaluation discussion. Um, is everybody able to bring that up on their computer? Because this is not a public document as of yet, so it is not in the public agenda. Where am I finding that? You can click on that link that said click here in the backup notes. Since you're logged in right on your computer, it should work. So as far as the general, um, the beginning of, of, the, um, of our survey, we ranked ourselves quite well um, in terms of um, our competencies on a scale of one to four. Um, almost all of our averaged ranks of the seven board members have us either at a very high three and a couple, only two um, situations, or um, in the fours on anything. Yeah, scale of one to five. Yes. On a scale of one to five. Yeah. This one was one to five. Bob's was one to six. <laughs> Is there anybody that has any comments about any of those, or anything that stands out to anybody that they'd like to comment on before we move on to the general statements? Yes, what, what stands out to me is the consistency of the seven opinions that were uh, sought for this, uh, this document. And when you, once again, in my opinion, when you, when you see something, when you see seven people thinking along the same lines, you, you've got a good thing going. You, you've got a good thing going and you've got to keep that in mind. Moving forward, I was I was very pleased to see uh, to see this. Thank you. And then moving on to the general statements, this part is a continuation of our board goal development. So we started last week with a review of the board goals that are expiring and how uh, Bob has fulfilled those goals. Um, now we get into these um, both. We have a priority for our goals. We've listed some weaknesses that we've personally observed. Um, we have the accomplishments. I kind of want to start backwards here. Um, the accomplishments, because there's not, th those don't necessarily go towards our goals, but um, I'm going to read them. So this, these are the opinions of, of the board members. High graduation and credit rates for our students. Special education students are being provided for at a higher level. Continued review of safety plan. Investments made by the district are very impressive. Highlighting students' achievements. Daily, weekly communication from each building, including the announcements from the middle high school and week at a glance. Adapting to ever-changing demands. Publishing curriculum. Promoting publishing video of the BOE meetings. Supporting students with social worker. Bringing in a psychologist budgeting for an in-house occupational therapist. If I'm reading OT right. That's right. Hiring and adapting to the ESL requirements of new students. Safety evaluations and improvements. Active student government in elementary school and middle school, high school. Fundraising improvements, doing work or providing a service. Publishing and recognizing student work through social media. And our special ed department is second to none. Those were um, the significant accomplishments highlighted by each and every one of you. As far as uh, the general statements, items one through two, um, again, these um, are what throughout this meeting and the next couple meetings we are going to refine into the new board goals. Um, I have a few specific comments. I went through quickly and we have one, two, three, four, five, six goals um, from six different board members. Every board member that responded to this in some way, shape, or form um, commented about um, hiring and filling in vacancies in one way, shape, or form. So I would say that that has got to end up being a priority um, when we develop these goals. Is there any, anybody in disagreement or anybody want to comment on that? that's showing up to me. 
Um, three board members in one way, shape, or form commented about security at the district. Um, and we have had conversations about that um, throughout with everything going on in the world as well. Um, and that even in our previous meeting under board uh, goal developments, we do have that box that is student safety and security. So that clearly is showing up still as, um, as a goal. Any comments? I would just say it's something to always keep improving, but it's not overlooked by any means by this board on a monthly basis. So. And it seems like you can never do enough. <laughs> exactly. So. Uh, something that showed up twice, um, wellness programs or um, mental health supports for both students and faculty and staff. Um, I, I think it's I think it's important. I think that we do have some in place. What's the I don't mean to put you on the spot, but what's the name of even us board members have access to? Uh, EAA mm -hmm. Employee Assistance Program. EAP, excuse me, a program where we can call twenty four seven if we need assistance. Um, and there's others, I'm sure, but we we can review that as part of as part of developing this goal. Correct. Sure, absolutely. Um, I have, I've got my own nomenclature here, D. There's uh, both showing up in goals and in weaknesses, um, some concern with um, general morale of, of the district. Um, I know that a couple years ago, didn't we do a faculty survey? Maybe five years ago now, six years ago, is when we came back from the... I thought we talked about it. We never did it. We never did it. We did a lot of, we talked about it. So that, as we we're developing these. We, I think we should that revisit that. that. We can revisit that as a possibility. Yes. Because when we're, I think from the, from the board level, we're talking about policy making, not so much about, about um, the day-to-day -day activities or what we want you to implement. Um, there's some other, anybody want to bring up any of the, any of the things in goals that I didn't mention? Um, there are a few around student achievement that I didn't mention that are in more than one. I'm not sure why I didn't quantify that, because they all sound a little different to me, I guess, but it's, it's whether it's improving reading and math or it's returning to, what was the other one, returning to um, our higher standards for passing and mastery, um, closing the COVID gap. Um, those seem to be... Um, in there in a couple different ways as far as student achievement. Um, not sure what's quantifiable there yet, but it can certainly be made into a goal. Um, the weaknesses, um, some of these need a little bit of wordsmithing before we make this um, an official public document. Um, we have to kind of be conscious that, that once this becomes public, it is, it is one voice from all seven, not just a, um, an individual, um, I don't know how to put it, but we wanna make sure we all agree to it. Um, and that um, in here there might be a few things where we would actually have to talk about specific instances involving faculty or staff um, that we would have to do by protecting those people. Um, is there any, anything in, in any of these that anybody would like to bring up now that they can do so without mentioning specifics? No? Does this give us enough for the next step of yeah. board of goal development? So if you want, I will take your, your number one, which are your goals, and put them in three, four, or five different goals for the board now to consider at the next meeting. And, uh, and then from there you can wordsmith it to make it sure that's exactly what you want to meet and ca capture. As so, far as the goals go, as far as your far goals, goals that you're developing. Yes. We have the other thing to do here. The other things will have to be done at a different time. Right. Okay. Any other uh, comments about that for this meeting? Okay, we are moving on to executive session.
resolved that the Board of Education adjourn to executive session at 6.30 p.m. to discuss the employment and employee history of particular persons or matters leading to the appointment, confidential student records protected by FERPA, and collective negotiations pursuant to Article 14 of the Civil Service Law. Motion, please. I'll make it. And a second? Second. And it's our intention to be back by 7 o'clock to close this. Okay, and? First? Well, good. No, did you get first? Oh, that other girl click it? Okay, we are back from executive session and uh, we have personnel numbers 1 through 11 as laid out in the agenda. Number 1, approval of substitute teacher. Number 2, appointment of director of facilities 2. Number 3, resignation of building maintenance supervisor. Number 4, appointment of elementary teacher. Number 5, appointment of tenure elementary special education teacher. Number six, appointment of tenure for a teaching assistant. Number seven, appointment of tenure for an elementary special education teacher. Number eight, appointment of tenure for an elementary education teacher. Number nine, appointment of tenure for a physical education teacher. Number 10, appointment of tenure for an education teacher. Number 11, appointment of music teacher. Motion please for all one through 11. Moved. And a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. Adjournment resolved that the Board of Education adjourn the meeting of May 9th, 2023 at 7.06 p.m. Motion please. I'll make it. And a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. That motion carried. <laughs> Our meeting is adjourned. And